Hello everyone, Caddy Wampus Gamer here, bringing you another episode of Minecraft Exoria. Alright, last episode we did the cobblestone generator, the sluice box, trees, and crops. This episode we are going to make a furnace. Alright, a better furnace. I should work towards a better furnace out of harder materials. I can't harvest obsidian yet, but maybe I can smack obsidian with a hammer, that shift right click, and get some shards that I can use. But the furnace surely needs a house that is more weatherproof. I can probably upgrade the cob to some waddle and daub. Alright, so the first thing we need is a stone Gallagher. Alright, now the reason we need this is because the furnace recipe is hardened stone, and hardened stone is eight stone surrounding an obsidian plate, which in order to get the plate, we need the Gallagher hammer to get the obsidian shards. All right, so let's look up Gallagher. All right, and let's go to the crafting bench. Grab one of these, put that in there, pull that out like that. All right, so I've been doing several different things. All right, my nutrition is really high. I actually have 18 hearts now. And I'm thinking I get the toughness, strength, and resistance buffs from having those so high, but I'm not quite sure. I'm not really accustomed with that mod. All right, so I did get a little bit of rice. One of the interesting things is you can make energy drinks with this rice. And one of them will give like haste three, I think, but I'm going to need iron before I can do that. I also planted sugarcane. Reeds. Is this reeds? Rushes. I can never get it right. Rushes are a good source of fiber instead of having to do leaves and stuff. All right, I planted wheat, potatoes, and a few cactus. And these I just harvest like this all the way down so that way I don't lose the drops from them. And then I just place them back like this. All right, so shift right click on obsidian. All right, you can see that we've got two, three, we're gonna need at least eight of these. So we got six. Come on. It's just like um, flaking flint and stuff. Sometimes like you go the longest time without getting results. All right, 11. We'll pick up a few extra because I want to try something. Alright, 12, come on, 13. Yeah, 13 is enough. Alright, so let's go ahead and run down here. I put a little bit of chalk there just for a pathway. I did accidentally, let me find, alright, eight of these in a furnace. We'll use this one here. We'll use a few charcoal. I don't remember how many each one does. Probably only need two pieces, but I'm going to go ahead and use it. Uh, what was I saying? I did accidentally make some stone bricks, so I do want to take these and this ash, and I think it's the center, surrounded by four ash. Nope. It must be the other way. It's got to be ash. Oops. Surrounded by the bricks. Yeah, there we go. Come on. There we go. Now we got some cool looking bricks that I can make a path out of. All right, but the next step, in order to place that furnace down when I make it, I'm actually going to need wattle and daub. And for wattle and daub, I'm gonna need sticks and wheat. All right, so let's go ahead. Wattle. So we're gonna need wicker. So let's go ahead and grab a bunch of that. And I don't know what it is with the delayed crafting with this. Come on. There we go. I will be glad when we get the Tinker's workbench because it will make things so much easier. Then you just put cob on the outside of it. That's cob, right? Yeah, cob. And we will get waddle and daub. All right, so just like before, I'm going to stick in more than I need. That way I can stick my stuff right up against the wall and not have to worry about it. 
and I asked on the Discord if I had to keep the previous layer. Like, Waddle and Dob is just upgraded Cobb. So I'm like, well, do I need both of them? And they're like, yeah, you need to. Basically, a lot of people just make an extra room and throw all the extra materials in there that they need for machines to work. All right, so we got some nice walls going on in here. Different colors, don't really care for that, but we are ready for that furnace once it is actually done. Ooh, there we go. And let's grab a stack of stone. Now we're gonna put this here. Oops, shift right click to use all of it. And shift right click and hold to drag all these. And grab those. All right, now if we shift right drag, whoops, missed one. There we go. Now we have a basic furnace. Well, this is not a basic one, excuse me. This is a furnace. We have a vanilla furnace now. And this is high tech. All right, I'm happy about this. Okay, so let's see. We got the stone Gallagher. We got the cobblestone. We got obsidian shards, obsidian plates, hardened stone in the furnace, and the waddle and daub. So we can go ahead and put this down. Now, when I was first messing around with this, I was like, ooh, I'm going to automate my furnace so that way, you know, I can just throw a whole bunch of stuff in here. And then I realized XP. You get XP from smelting things by hand. All right, putting your charcoal in here and putting the other stuff in there. So let's go ahead. Mm, we don't have more obsidian shards. We'll go ahead and put these in and run up and mine some. So I'm like, okay, so I'm going to make like two or three furnaces probably. And I'm not going to automate them. I'm going to do them by hand because like there are no mobs in the overworld. Well, I say overworld. Technically, this isn't the overworld. It's the Exoria world. But there are no mobs. So the only way to get XP right now is to do things like breed animals, which we don't have yet, or smelt things. If there's another way to get XP, definitely let me know. I don't always think of things, and I'm like, sometimes people point something out, and I'm like, oh, I just totally never even thought of that. You know, it's, everybody can think of something different, and you put all the pieces together, and then you got this great, you know, idea. All right, I do want to get enough of this, because I want to make some decent tools today, because I'm sick of making tools over and over again. By the way, you can make cobblestone like a cobblestone pick and a cobblestone axe and stuff like that. But, ooh. Let's see. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Yeah, there's more under there. All right. So let's go ahead and fill this in with basalt. I don't want to waste that lava just because it's right here. All right. We're also going to need... Let's see. Tanzanite and sapphires all right sapphires and tanzanite all right we're gonna need to get rid of some stuff i will be glad when we get normal chests because ooh, ooh, how did i okay i didn't realize you could actually craft the ash down into an even smaller thing that's interesting apparently i accidentally crafted a whole bunch of that when i was doing those bricks all right, we'll go ahead, put this on the shelf. All right, so one of the next quests is tinkering. All right, the hardened stone should allow me to make some special durable tools. Unfortunately, the uses of them, that should be the uses, their uses are quite limited, but should still be very useful. All right, so we're gonna make the bane of cobble, the bane of leaves, and the bane of trees. These things are epic. All right, Bane. We are gonna need to go ahead and smelt down some more obsidian plates. So we'll throw those in there. We're gonna need some more smooth stone. I say smooth stone, it's called stone. All right, so we're gonna do this. Come on. Eight of that, and I don't wanna do extra because I'll end up Actually, yeah, I do, because I want to show you one of the other materials. So we can shift-click this out, and it's going to craft that, and then there was one batch left over that was just the stone on the outside, and we get these things. 
which are something cobblestone. Let's see, dry fitted stone is what it is, but it's this nice little texture, kind of big cobblestone, basically. All right, so let's see, bane, bane of cobble. Ooh, we need stone rods, I forgot about that. Do I have, yes, I have cobblestone. All right, three cobblestone like that. Ooh. Let's see, do I have any clay? I'm gonna need clay. Can I put this in here without catching it on fire? No, I can't. So we'll do this, we'll grab this. All right, we'll do this real quick. We'll go ahead and take some loam and we'll make clay. Let's see, clay like this, rocks like this, and clay like this. There we go. Okie dokie. All right, so now we should be able to go Bane of Cobblestone. Ooh, I'm getting ready to make a big mistake here, aren't I? Okay, there's only one in there. I didn't shift click, I wanted to make sure. All right, the Bane of Trees. All right, and the one remaining one, whoops, is the Bane of Leaves. All right, these tools are unbreakable. So let's go ahead, we'll put the extra sapphires here, put these seeds here. Uh, we'll just throw this stuff here. I will say it once again, I cannot wait until we get chests because sticking stuff into these racks is like a pain. All right, this here, this here, and this here. That's enough room. All right, I do wanna grab some fertilizer. I wanna grab some, is that? Yeah, that's dirt. And not enough dirt. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have several different tools here. They are unbreakable. There is zero durability. Now this, I can't mine ash. I can mine basalt with it, and it is super fast, so that's handy. But one of the things that's handy is now when I mine this cobblestone, I get the actual cobblestone, and it mines almost instantly. And from what I read, this basically just checks and sees if there's water on one side and lava on the other which means it doesn't have to be an actual functioning cobblestone generator. So you could, in theory, just move this lava down and it would still produce cobblestone and you wouldn't have to worry about the lava coming out if it messed up for some reason. All right, now the next demonstration. We need spruce seeds. One of those there. All right. All right, we're gonna come out here. We're gonna put dirt down. Oops. We're gonna go ahead and plant four spruce trees here and we are going to grow them with bone meal. All right, that looks cool. So we're actually gonna first show the bane of leaves. That's essentially shears. So you now don't have to make a bunch of different shears. You can just use these to collect the leaf blocks and anything else that you would normally use a sickle or a scythe for. All right, the bane of trees, check this out. It's the lumberjack and it is epic. So now like you were looking before, like making charcoal, just go K, K. Now we've got 22 piles of wood or wood piles all right and then we can just get all the saplings from this we can plant more of these and continue to do it so we no longer really have a need for the tree farm here because i will get a majority of my wood from spruce trees just because it's so much faster now oak i will still need that because i think there's some recipes that still have to have oak but yeah other than that, I'm probably just gonna go for the spruce trees just because, like I said, it's simpler. All right, hardened stone, what other uses does this have? We can color it, 
or diet. Ooh, we're going to need it for a crushing table. And that reminds me, we didn't. Let's see, done, done. Yep, that's done. Crushing will actually be, ooh, on our next episode, I think, because I need to take the furnaces and smelt down and get tons and tons of copper. Um, we will get bone meal. Let's see, grow your crops. We still need to make a flint grindstone for an episode. I'll mix it in with some other stuff. Um, there's one in here for the wooden pipes and engines and concrete plans, which is we'll need those for making the smelters for actually smelting down metals like iron and tin and copper and well copper we can do in the furnace all right that is going to do it for today's episode hopefully you enjoyed the episode if you did tell a friend leave a like and until next time this is caddy wampus gamer signing off <laughs>